things that Lakshmi, the ancient Hindu goddess of fortune, can teach you about being wealthy today. If you're new here, my name is Mami Onami and I initiate seekers into the second level of spiritual teachings. The second level myth and parable makes sense to you. And it comes with a corresponding level of wealth known as good householder, which I am helping over a hundred people get into right now in my workshop, The Ritual. Lesson one, Lakshmi comes from the word Laksha, which means aim. Money doesn't go to people that don't have a specific plan of how they're going to put it to use. Money comes to people that are living on purpose, which brings us to lesson two. Lakshmi has four arms for the four aims of humanity. Aim one, Dharma, recognize your unique gifts and share them. Aim two, Arta, make money on those gifts, become financially stable, hit that second level we're talking about. Comma, pursue desire and love because it's sacred, but you can only get there after the other two. When you don't have your aim and you don't have money, desire is gonna get you all screwed up. And then finally, moksha, which is liberation from everything. Can't cut the line, sorry. Lakshmi is the consort of Vishnu. In Hinduism, they're not duped into the belief that God is all good and smiling all the time. Their Godhead has three factors or a triangle because as we know, all creation has three forces. So for the men, we have the Trimurti of Vishnu, Shiva, and Brahma, or creating, destroying, neutralizing, and their consorts, Saraswati, Kali, and Lakshmi. When two gods are married, it's telling you, you need this masculine side and this feminine side to get their powers. So while yes, Lakshmi represents fortune and wealth, Vishnu represents justice and mercy. So even though in the next story we'll tell you that you can make money any which way you want, it's not about making money. It's being able to retain or sustain, as Vishnu does, money. And that is wealth. To do it that way, you have to do it mercifully and justly. Whether you approve of their choices or not, anybody that's got Lakshmi has Vishnu too. It's the law. Lesson four, Lakshmi was birthed out of this chaos. Now, what's this chaos? Before all the gods, Indra, Indra and Sage Durvasa got into a big squabble, which created the battle of right and wrong. Now, when you're in the battle of right and wrong, you don't know that God has three faces. You think that it's God and the devil and that all bad things come from the devil and all good things from, come from God. This is a game you don't want to be stuck in. And this created the chaos that Lakshmi was born out of. Now, the whole squabble between Durvasa and Indra came because of arrogance and misunderstanding. So when you have the arrogant misunderstanding that you just deserve wealth without having to do anything for it, without having to get any of the four arms, you are mistaken. And finally, Lakshmi only visits clean houses. So keep your space decluttered and clean if you want money. Follow me for more.